So 2006, I think you are appointed director general of OCP. Mm -hmm. Two years later, you become the chief executive of the company. Mm -hmm. What, um, how did this come about? What was your, what were you asked to do? Why did they appoint you and what was your assignment? Well, I was appointed because the government was questioning OCP's situation. At, at that point, OCP was a, a loss-making company. In fact, it wasn't a company, it was a parastatal. So the O used to stand for office, but had been in a difficult situation financially for the, the previous years. And that was not in kilter with the size of uh, phosphate reserves in Morocco. Uh, so there was a question on why, why was that the situation. Uh, and um, knowing that, uh, that I was a bit on the, you know, a man of challenges or maybe a bit crazy uh, um, yeah, on accepting challenges, they asked me to look at the situation and say whether I was willing to try to resolve the problem. And that's what, that's a challenge they knew I couldn't refuse. <laughs> so what was wrong with the company? So the Morocco is sitting, I understand, some ridiculously high percentage of the world's phosphate, so 70% or something. How could it manage to be a loss-making entity? Well, that's obviously the first question we, we ask ourselves. Uh, the answer was a combination of things, but mainly the fact that the company had stayed predominantly in the mining business mm. and, and was selling uh, the ore, the phosphate, uh, what we call phosphate rock, basically to... Um, uh, its, its core business was f selling phosphate rock uh, and, in, and, and was certainly not... Uh, profitable in that the price of phosphate had remained very stable, even in nominal dollars, for 30 years. Mm. Uh, and as you can imagine, the costs were not stable. So in, in real dollars, you know, we were in a business where, where uh, our, our main product was, uh, in, the, in real terms, uh, going down in terms of price, in real dollar terms. Uh, so that's what created the, uh, you know, the costs uh, keeping, uh, you know, moving higher, that's what created the losses, yearly losses in the company. Uh, so we, we initially also looked at uh, whether mismanagement or not, we, we even, um, my first move was to ask Kroll, you remember the company who audited Enron, to look, uh, to look at, the, to do some for, forensic work, and, and and there was no absolutely no mismanagement. Their report was, no, you have a lack of strategy. This is a company that doesn't have a clear strategy, but there is uh, absolutely no mismanagement. So we we said then what we have to fix is the strategy, and the strategy was very common sense was to say we, we have to move to the finished product, we have to move down the value chain. Uh, and become and, and move in the business of our clients, which is fertilizer, which is plant nutrition. So we decided that the, the, the only way out was to add value in the country to the, to the phosphate rock and produce various things that are uh, finished products out of that uh, phosphate uh, rock. And the rest is history. We were able to invest mm. massively in fertilizer production, uh, and, and 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 get the company out of the its situation um, rather quickly. 